यार ये कहानी दस साल पहला आता तो मैं करता मगर आया नहीं तो अब आया तो मैं अब कर रहा हूँ नाइन्टी मिनट्स या वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स का कहानी नहीं है ये काफी लंबा कहानी है हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्पॉट बॉय दिस इज अनीता इन कॉन्वर्जेशन विथ द गुरु और द यू नो द किंग ऑफ टेनिस मिस्टर लियांडर हाय लियांडर वेलकम टू स्पॉट बॉय हाय अनीता हाउ आर यू वेरी वेल सो आई एम वेरी ग्लैड फर्स्टली दैट आई गेट टू इंटरव्यू यू अ सेकंडली वेरी एक्साइटेड टू सी व्हाट यू आर ब्रिंगिंग इन Uh, bringing to us through break point you know because you all were like i said you all were the god you all were the kings of tennis and uh, i'm very sure there were a lot of people who were hurt when you all you know separated earlier i want to begin with saying one asking one thing you know a uh, lot of people uh, are not okay with you know showing the negative side of their career you know or you know bringing out that side of uh, their their life uh but you and uh bhupati have been so courageous and bringing out to the world uh firstly how difficult was that and secondly what convinced you to do so yes anita i think that it took a lot of courage to show the negative sides if you want to call it that or to show the weaknesses if you want to call it that or to show yeah. the cracks in the friendship if you want to call it that um but really i think that the reason i actually have done breakpoint is to inspire a generation to show those young kids that if two young indian boys have a dream at the age of 15 and 16 to win wimbledon and if we work hard enough and believe in ourselves enough and if we are students of our craft and we can achieve winning wimbledon then any indian can be the best in the world at anything they want but also i think it's also to show like you rightly asked that even if you're a wimbledon champion and even if you're a world champion that you're still vulnerable yeah. when you grow up in a country that in the 80s and 90s there was no manual to show you how to win wimbledon there was no textbook to show you how becoming number 1 in the world is aap ye karo ya wo karo aur tab aap jeetenge so being at time in the 90s to become world champions in our craft we also made mistakes because we were leaning on each other it was all trial and error yeah. and we had to be courageous to tell the story on how we made our mistakes and we take full responsibility for it yes there were reasons yes there was many other people there yes there were many nuances that caused that and you will see that depicted in each episode after episode but yeah. really the confidence that we had was in ashwini ayer tiwari and nitesh tiwari and and piyush i mean they have done such a magical job in giving us that confidence that you guys keep it true you keep it honest you keep it real and we will tell the human emotions without picking sides we will tell it honestly and yeah. i think that uh, they've done a phenomenal job i think all of you all are really going to love it we love the trailer so i can't wait to see what else do you what else is going to shock us but uh, do you think you could have come out with this story uh, much earlier in in your career in your life or this you think this is the right time to come out with uh, the story good question nitesh bhai was asked this question 3 uh, days ago in our promotions and he said yaar ye kahani 10 saal pehla aata to main karta magar aaya nahi to ab aaya to main ab kar raha hu <laughs> <laughs> but i believe you all were approached couple of times but you all were not okay then to you know bring it out over the last 20 years uh, anita have been approached several times many many times to do a feature film hmm magar mere samajh mein ye 90 minutes ya 120 minutes ka kahani nahi hai ye kafi lamba kahani hai hmm and in that to tell it in an episode format in a docu series you can actually capture the highs and lows to become champions and then what happened in the break and what we do to win a world and what happened in the break so the highs and the lows is really where the re- the real story is you know it's not about winning wimbledon once it's not about getting to one olympics yeah. it's not about being number one in the world once but we have done it over yeah. and over and over again and i think that to achieve excellence over a long period of time it's not like you're at your best all the time hmm. you have bad days also yeah 
and we have been very courageous to actually tell that story real and we didn't use actors anita we did it mm. ourselves right so it was <laughs> our parents who spoke our siblings spoke our friends spoke our coaches spoke our rivals spoke on all the different perspectives that each of them had and it's very unique for me to go through all that and now to look at it and say yaar 20 saal baad ye wo ye chal raha tha yaar mera soch alag tha hmm and then also for mahesh and myself to go through this journey it's been a great healing where we That's actually good. are revisiting conversations that were left open we are revis- revisiting conversations that should have been had and now with a little wisdom and a little little more maturity we can laugh at ourselves also <laughs> it's right. uh, it's been a great uh, full circle it's come full circle correct so what you know uh, your family is involved your friends are involved they, they have you know they have a story what they felt what which part of them telling the story you know really shocked you or surprised you and you were not aware of that what they felt is there anything there were some surprises for me for sure there were some very interesting uh, twists and turns for sure you know because everyone has their own perspectives to tell yeah. a story but i feel that as much as mahesh and myself take responsibility for the not so good things hmm. i feel that as much as mahesh doesn't emote or doesn't speak so much that i would actually watch his body language or watch his eyes and learn as to what he's thinking because it was a bit difficult for me to communicate with him because he doesn't speak much hmm. you know that now when i watch the archival footage especially in episode 4 at wimbledon hmm. when he sat on the bench he gave me one look we communicated better maybe if one of us picked up the phone and actually had a conversation one on one without anybody else being around us hmm. maybe if we watch the psycho archival footage then maybe we would realize what that friendship meant to us but yehi hota hai na karma you make the best decisions with the best knowledge you know anita correct and you can sit back 20 years later and says ha yaar aap to alag kar kar hota to main bhi kuch alag kar hota to magar we achieved our dreams we managed to win wimbledon we managed to get to number one in the world and not yeah. many people get that chance live their dreams so we're very blessed the thing i'd like to focus on nita is the fact that mahesh and myself have proven that in a country that did not have a manual on how to achieve success or did not have an ability to show us what steps it took to hmm. win wimbledon we pioneered and we did it we achieved our dreams we lived our dreams so i think it was important to tell that story was to tell that story from different perspectives and to tell it very real right whatever mistakes we also made let put you learn from that so they don't make those mistakes too right but so now how is everything cleared between you all are you all friends again how how have you all you know kya bolte hai purani baaton ko chhod diya hai so we've always been brothers hmm. and like brothers hum ladte hain um haste hai we have difference of opinions because we're very different as people yeah. our characters are different our values are different our, you know thought thought process might it varies you know because both of us are gemini's also he seven to ten percentile to so us mein we actually read each other unbelievably well but we are like yin and yin and yang jo main karte hain wo nahi kar sakte jo wo kar sakte hain main nahi kar sakta so has we complete each other and this whole last one and a half years has been fantastic because we've also seen the archival footage we've spent time together talking and we can see that with maturity we can see why we were the best team in the world because we complete each other right yeah. also we can see because of those differences we also uh, we also have had difference of opinions we are not able to handle the 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 tough times as best as we could have you know and maybe at that point if we had uh, a little more wisdom if we had an elder statesman mm. who could uh, maybe sit us down and 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 talk to us someone who had a little more experience than us thank you that if if that person was around an elder statesman who could sit us down and talk to us and say you know you guys you'll have difference of opinions you'll are different that's what makes you all great 
but it's okay. Y'all go and watch Shole again together alone. Y'all go and have Khana together alone. Y'all go and take a holiday together and sort out your differences. Yeah, bari baat nahi hai. Ha, hai to baat. Magar bari baat nahi hai. Because y'all are actually world champions. Y'all are playing to retain your number one ranking in the world. Hmm. Hence, y'all owe it to yourselves to go and spend the time together to sort out your differences. Maybe at that time, if I had to do something different now, Anita, it would yeah. be to have an older statesman there with some experience to guide us. That Wimbledon जीतने के बाद क्या होता है? Number one बनने के बाद क्या होता है? So, uh, talking about you know being number one, being everything, uh, is the after watching this doctor series, ah, uh, is there a kind of a message for all the young sports people who you know look up to you and Dupati both? At us and saying, "Haan, tu to Wimbledon jeet jeet hai, magar next year." Yeah, he's gone. Uh. Yeah. So, do you think the uh, the The younger generation will learn something from this documentary. So they they, so they look up to you. So much. I'm so interested to see the next five years, the next ten years of the youth that have watched Breakpoint and watched the Leander Mahesh story, and come back in five or ten years and tell us that, "Yar, I have seen your story, and I have learned so much from your story that I can become a champion." You know, I met uh, Nira Chopra a couple mm. of weeks ago when he came back from Tokyo, and he's such a wonderful champion. He's such a humble man, and he's achieved such great goals for our country. Yeah. And when he said that, Paji, when I went to the stadium for training, I saw your poster there. In 1990, I saw your medal. When you won, you won with Andre Agassi, and you won with me. अटलांटा में मेडल जीता है वो मेडल मेरे को इंस्पायर किया कि हम देश वालों भी इंडिविजुअल मेडल जीत सकते हैं आपके पहले तो हॉकी में जीतते थे टीम स्पोर्ट्स में जीतते थे मगर किसी ने इंडिविजुअल मेडल नहीं जीता है अगर जब मैं आपको जीत जीतते देखा है तब मैंने सोचा कि मैं भी जीत सकता हूं यू नो सो वेन वेन यू समथिंग लाइक दैट नो दैट अंग किड से It feels good because you realize that you were true to who you were. You lived your life in a certain way, and you've told the story in a certain way in Breakpoint now. That can show the youth how to do it. You know, it's one thing yeah. to inspire a generation; it's another thing to pave the path. What next for you? You you had done one film, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, any plans of continuing as such being? There in front of the. So now this is my second one. <laughs> did, this is a uh, doctor Rajdhani series. Express. I did yeah. Rajdhani Express a few years ago. I think it was 2012, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. But uh, you know that was a great ride to play a hero in a in a satire movie. And as much as I'm, you know, got some kudos in my acting bits, <laughs> I I felt that uh, if the original actors were retained for Rajdhani, uh, the success of that story would have been fantastic. But uh, to be able to do this uh, docu series now, and um, you know the offers keep coming, but I think that with the kind of man I am, if something inspires me or something really touches my heart and it makes sense to me to do, I won't shy away from it because I have a tremendous amount of passion, and uh, I love inspiring our community. So if something right comes about, then it'll be fun to do it. Awesome. Uh, tell me one thing: if ever a biopic is made on you. Which actor would you like to uh, like? You know, you to play yourself. You have to stay glued, uh, Anita, to watch that. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. so is there an offer on that as well? Can't speak about is it now. We talk about Rajdhani, you know, uh, before. Yes. Now we talk about breakpoint. Break point. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is going to be my last question to you. Great, uh, right? Interest. Yes. Globally, my search. Uh, the top three. I mean, you got Djokovic, Federer, and Nadal, who are dear friends of mine. Uh, Djokovic, I think, is a phenomenal champion. I think that he, barring any injuries or any uh, unforeseen circumstances, I think he is going to go down in the history books as the greatest champion ever. He's going to beat Nadal's record in a couple months, and he's going to beat Federer's record. 
So I think my prediction is Djokovic is going to go down in the history books as the greatest of all time. Also, you look at what Serena Williams has done. I mean, she was yeah. a teammate of mine at the Washington cast, very dear friend of mine. Venus and uh, Venus and myself share the same birth act. All right. No, no, thank you so much, Leander. It was really long. And I'm looking forward to the point. Really important. Please do. Thank you.